This dynamic rank slicer can filter below visual, either for the selected rank or even for the range between two dynamic ranks. It will also get adjusted with other filter criteria to show you the new products for the same rank range selection. In this video, let's create this amazing dynamic rank slicer. All right, I have this semantic model with four basic tables connected with the relevant keys. In my report page, I have created this basic table visual with three simple measures, total sales, total cost, and margin percent. First of all, let me create the product's ranks based on its total sales amount. For that, I will create a new measure. This measure name I can keep as rank. The expression for this measure is pretty simple. Here I will validate. If total sales amount is blank, then I don't need to calculate the rank. Otherwise, I will use the new rank function for all the product names. Order by total sales amount. The order I can mention as descending order. We can even have other conditions, but that is not required for this demo. Now, before I start creating the rank slicer, let me add this measure in my table visual. To create this dynamic slicer, we need to know how many products are available in the particular context of filter selections. To have the reference, first of all, I will create a single column table. This table name I can keep as slicer. This table function is nothing but the series from one to total number of products available in the sales table. Increment by one. Here it will have the series from one to total number of products as the base slicer, which we need to manipulate as dynamic slicer. So let me add this column as a slicer on my report page. For that, I can just copy one of the existing slicers and change its field from country to the value column of my newly created slicer table. You can have an appropriate name for the product rank range slicer. I have also inserted an emoji. All right. At this moment, this slicer will not have any impact to the below visual. And to make it working, I am going to create my second measure, which will be used to activate this slicer. This measure name I can have as filter rank. The expression for this measure is just a validation, which will check if rank measure is greater or equal to the minimum value of the slicer, and it should be less or equal to the maximum value of the slicer. This measure will just return true or false as its output, and it can't be directly used to filter my table visual. You can see we don't have any option to select any value for this. So we can just wrap this entire expression inside the integer function so that it will return one or zero for true and false results. And now I can assign value one to filter the visual for the selected rank range. We still have one small issue with this, but first let's verify if it's working properly or not. And here we go. The solution is working for a particular rank selection or the range between two ranks. Now, even if we change other filters, it will show the different products for the same selected rank range. It means these ranks are dynamically changing the products based on other filter criteria. So this is working as expected. The only small problem is, this slicer is still holding all the numbers. And to make it in sync with only relevant rank range, I will create another small measure. This measure name I can keep as, sync rank slicer. This measure will just validate that. The max of the slicer value should be less or equal to the distinct number of products available in the particular filter context. Once again, I will wrap this entire expression inside integer function. And this time, I will use this measure as visual level filter for my slicer, where the value should always be one. And that's all. Now we have a working solution for dynamic rank range slicer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.